Let's go ahead and calculate the coordinates of D. D is right here. It's the turning point of our graph, right? We have f of x being equals to x squared minus 4x minus 11, right? And then we want the x value of the turning point first. And after we have the x value, we can find the y value, right? So this is how you find the x value. You say that x is equals to minus b divided by 2a. This will always hold when you want the x value of the turning point. But the question now is, what is b? b is the coefficient of x. And then what is a? a is the coefficient of x squared. So this will be equals to, so we have minus b, right? Which happens to be minus 4. And then divided by 2, a happens to be 1. So this will just be equals to 4 divided by 2, which will just be equals to 2, right? So now that we have the x value, we can just substitute it in our equation and find the y value. If we do that, we're going to get f of 2 being equals to 2 squared minus 4 multiplied by 2 minus 11. So what is 2 squared? That is 4 and then minus 8 minus 11. So 4 minus 8, that is minus 4 minus 11, that should be minus 15. So the coordinates of D, we have an x value of 2 and a y value of minus 15. And just like that, you have the coordinates of D. So now let's go ahead and do 6.1.2. Let's calculate the distance CN. So here's C here at this point and N is right here, right? But then we don't have the coordinates of C. If we had a, an equation for this graph G of X, uh, G of X is the straight line, it will be easy to find the coordinates of C and then consequently find the distance CN. But we're told in equation statement that G of X is equal to the derivative of f of x right so we can just derivate f of x and have g of x if we do that we're gonna get uh, g of x being equal to the derivative of f of x so we're gonna get 2x minus 4 right and if if you have no idea what is going on then i advise you to just click on the channel and go uh, watch a video on differentiation right uh, but then that's not the only way you can solve that problem you can actually find uh, the y value of m. If you find the y value of m, then you're going to have m and n as two points on a line. And then from there, you can then find uh, this equation here and do what we're about to do next, right? Yeah, so let's go ahead with the problem. We want the coordinates of c, right? So for c, uh, we have an x coordinate that we don't know and a y coordinate of 0, right? So if we substitute 0 in place of y, we're going to be able to find the corresponding value of x. So let's just go ahead and do that. We're going to have uh, 0. We're substituting it into uh, g of x, right? Uh, that will be equal to 2 multiplied by x minus 4, right? It's easy to see that x should be equal to 2. So for c, we have coordinates 2 and 0, right? So we have uh, the coordinates of c. We know that the coordinates of n is 7 and 10. So now we can go ahead and find uh, the distance cn. So if we do that, we're going to have cn being equal to, uh, now we're using the distance formula, right? y2 uh, minus y1 squared plus x2 minus x1 squared, right? So this will be equal to, so let's take uh, our point n as the second point. So we're going to have 10 minus 0 squared, right, plus 7 minus 2 squared. So this will be equal to, uh, so we're going to have uh, the square root of 100, uh, 110 squared, and then 5 squared, that will be like plus uh, 25. And then if you put that in your calculator, you should get 5 square root of 5 square root of 5. Yeah, so the distance of the distance of what? The distance of CN uh, seems to be uh, 5 square root of 5, right? And now we can move to the next question. Let's do 6.2 and then 6.2.1 for which values of X is F of X. So F of X less than G of X. Uh, f of x less than g of x. So we're looking for uh, the x values where g of x is on top of f of x, right? We can see that here between uh, the x value of m 
between the x value of m and uh, the x value of this point n here our graph g of x is above f of x right so we can see that from minus one to just slightly less than seven g of x is greater than f of x you can see clearly here that our graph g of x is above f of x right yeah so that's what you're talking about there and then uh 6.2.2 6.2.2 is saying uh let's find uh for which values of x is g uh, of x minus f of x a maximum right g of x minus f of x a maximum right uh so let's substitute g of x first so that i can show you something so g of x we have 2x uh 2x what 2x minus 4 and then minus f of x which happens to be x squared minus 4x minus 11. so this should be equals to yeah it should be equals to so x squared doesn't have any other like term so we have minus x squared and then 2x minus minus 4x so that will be plus 6x and then minus 4 minus minus 11 so that will be plus 7. so how we solve the problem now when we have this equation we derivate and equate to zero that's when we're gonna have a maximum so if we do that we're gonna have um minus 2x plus 6 being equals to zero so it's easy to see that uh, minus 2x will be equals to minus 6 so x is equals to 3.